Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new LEGO project. Today I have for you the M1 Abrams, one of the most famous tanks in the world from the United States. For who knows me from the very beginning, this is not a new machine because uh, uh, you know I already made this tank in the past. It was one of my very first machine ever, probably the first military machine, I'm not sure, but this is my second version much upgraded and I think much better because my previous version had many problems that I will show you uh, very soon. Maybe we can uh, uh, take both of them, the new one and the old one together so you can see the improvements and uh, let's start with the new one. This is the second version and this is actually the original file that you can download in the description. Okay, I imported the previous one so this is the first version of the tank and this is the second version. Now I will show you the second version uh, future and the previous one uh, um, problems, I guess. But let's start immediately with the newer one. Uh, this one, for example, the first improvement is the rotating turret opening. So from the inside the crew can go inside the turret while this one was just attached to the top of the tank. So as you can see, this one is not open it in the in the middle but it's just attached to the top while this one is completely open it like the real one another big improvement uh, is the engine as you can see here i open the engine this one is a diesel engine while the abrams is uh, the only tank in the world with a turbine engine and it's one of the most famous uh, characteristic of this machine and as you can see this one has the turbine engines like the original one another big upgrade was in the turret this one was too uh, slim on the sides as you can see here while the and the real turret is much wider and this is the another improvement uh, another uh, change was made in the main gun this one is a uh, centered while the uh, real Abrams is uh, a little uh, on the right side or left depending on which direction you are watching the tank but in uh, this moment it's a little on the right as you can see here with the uh, secondary weapon the 7.62 mm gun a little on the on the on the left other improvements were made on the back of the turret. This is uh, more uh, similar to the real one with smaller antennas and this uh, electronic package. While this one didn't have any of this, I had just these two backpack and these antennas too big. Also for the commander sides here and here, this one was too big and also the other one, I made them uh, more uh, similar to the original one, so the commander side here is uh, smaller and also the rotating one here. Also for the crew hatches they are smaller and in uh, on different levels like the original one while here were bigger to high and on the same level. And also this one is probably the more similar to the previous one, uh, the um, secondary gun that you can find here. here that you can add on this one and I'll show you very soon uh, how. And also for the remote gun here, I made it a new version. It's smaller and more similar to the real one. Uh, these are the main difference. All right, also here the crew hatches for the driver here. This one you can't open this one, while on the new one you can actually open it. And also for the wheels, this one has two, four, six, eight wheels, while the original one has only seven of them. As you can see, I made a lot of improvements and a lot of changes, so I hope you like this machine like it's a, I don't know, a new project and not a si simply a new version of a previous project. For now, I would like to delete my previous one and we can see in details what uh, you can find in the original file you can download in the description. First, here we can start from the turret or from the inside. Maybe the inside? Yes, we can start from the inside. You can find the driver position here. Of course, the minifigure uh, fits inside the driving position here. 
and as I said before, you can actually open the driver hatches. Here you can find the lights of the tank. Here the bottom with the seven, uh, the seven wheels. The other feature I wanted to show you uh, here is the engine, like have you seen before. You can open here and you can easily remove this part. So this is the engine. These are the air intakes of the engine. Here we have the lights, the back lights, and we can start with the top of the tank. For the top, the wall turret is connected by this rotating piece here. So you can just take the turret, place on the rotating piece like this, and this is how it looks when they are both connected. Many of the future I've already shown you before, but I wanted to show you, for example, the uh, remote commander site here can be rotated like this in uh, every direction. Of course, you can open the hatches here, but other ways LDD sometimes doesn't work very well when you have many connections. So I have to remove this for a second and then I can, yes, open one and open two. Another interesting feature here, there is a little space. You can uh, put the, these shells here. So when you open the hatches, you can actually see the shells inside of the tank, the shells that they just take and fire the, the tube. And another feature here, of course, the main gun can be moved to up and down. Here we have smoke grenade launchers. You can add more of them if you prefer. And of course, the wall turret can be rotated too. Yes, perfect. Of course, you can rotate the wall turret uh, 360 degrees uh, in uh, every direction, of course. Uh, of course, you can uh, place the minifigure inside too. We have many, uh, many weapons that we can add. For example, uh, we have a weapon for the left side and the right side. For the left side, you have to use uh, only this one. You have to remove the one and two. Take the gun and put here, like this. Now you have the secondary weapons here. For the other side, we have uh, two choices, the standard machine guns, like the one on the, on the left, or the remote turret. For the standard machine gun, you can just remove this piece and add the machine gun like this. And now you have two machine guns on one for uh, each side, or we can add the remote turret here, sorry. For the other one, you have to remove one and the two pieces, and then you can add this one like, uh, perfect, like this. And now you have also the remote turret on the left side of the tank. The remote turret can be, uh, let's show you, can be, let's see if it works, rotated in uh, every direction like, uh, actually also this one I didn't show you before, but you can rotate them and come back to the, you can also point it in, up and down. Let's see if it works. Okay, up and down, of course, like this. If you have the original file, of course, you can choose also different colors for uh, the tank with a different camo. For example, you can change the yellow with, uh, I don't know, maybe we can make it green like this. It's very easy to change the colors of the tank or one of my favorite, the urban camo, the gray one. I really love the gray tank. Okay, the video finish here. I show you all the future of this tank. I hope you loved my new version of this uh, M1 Abrams. In the future, I'll make a second version of uh, more of my previous works, especially the one I don't like <laughs> because they were uh, very old and uh, my skills were not so good like now. Uh, I hope you noticed an improvement in my building skills. Probably my next second version will be the Dassault Rafale and probably also the Bell V22 Osprey. It's another one that was not in, probably not even in scale. For now, this is my very first second version I made. I hope you uh, enjoyed the improvements. 
Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, click on the bell to receive a notification when I upload a new video, but as always, on Saturday you will find for sure a new video, and maybe on Tuesday a bonus, like the how to build or maybe something else. And also for today that's all, the video finish here, and I see you next time with a new video. Bye!